Hello. Hello, Internet. Um, it's been a while. I've been really nervous about making this video for a long time. And um, I'm still really nervous now. Over the years since I started, YouTube has become a really negative place for me. For multiple reasons. This hasn't just come out of nowhere. This is something I've been battling with and struggling with since I moved to LA. Many of you guys know that when I was a teenager and being gay, I felt extremely alone. I went to a religious private school where I was the only gay person. I didn't really know other gay people. I felt extremely alone and isolated and because of that I was really depressed. So I started a blog online where I was giving advice on LGBTQ plus topics. I never wanted another kid to feel the way I felt, like they had no one. One day I got a message from someone saying, hey, I love what you write, but I hate reading. Could you make a video? And that's how this whole thing started. When I first started making YouTube videos, the community was different, the company was different, and my life was completely different. It's extremely frustrating working for a company that doesn't value the LGBTQ plus community. I'm just gonna run on this calling things out because I really am at that point where I don't care anymore. I've been to numerous town hall meetings. I've been in meetings with the head of analytics. It's not getting better. They're gonna keep saying it. they're gonna fix it. It's been going on since May, they're not gonna fix it. And that's only one aspect as to why YouTube has been only a stressful negative thing in my life. I told all of you over a year ago that I would not be sharing any romantic relationships online again. For the most part, I don't share my relationship status or who I'm dating online. I personally feel really anxious about a lot of strangers knowing and judging only little details they know about my personal life. And I thought having my most recent relationship be public would be different, and it was, because Anna also was someone who already had a following. Out of the three, four relationships I've shared with you guys over the past six years, Anna's the one person that never made me feel used for my following. Being so public about my most recent relationship, which no relationship is perfect, has had an extremely, extremely negative effect on my mental health. She never once pressured me to go public about our relationship. It was an agreement we both made, both decided on, no one pressured me into it, it was my decision. When I first started making YouTube videos, people were more invested in the content I was making than my personal life, but YouTube has changed a lot over the past few years. The internet has changed a lot over the past few years, and it's become a really, really negative place. The internet has become much more invested in... Hello. The internet has become way more invested in expressing what we hate than with what we love. Myself included, I'm no saint. It's gotten to a point where just everyone is criticizing everyone and everyone is just looking at a way to make other people feel bad. And I'm not even just talking about my channel, I'm talking about the internet as a whole. If you're not educated about something, you're criticized for being stupid. If you are educated about something, you're criticized for being a know-it-all. If you post videos often, people say you're trying too hard. If you don't post videos often, you don't care about your audience. It's like there's no way to ever win. People are only looking for ways to try and find something negative about it versus something positive. And this cycle isn't only continuous, it's growing. So during my break from social media, I took a lot of time reflecting what is the best for me while also not abandoning all of you. So my content is going to be a little different. I want to give the opportunity for other people's stories to be heard. People in stories that don't normally get the opportunity to be heard by a large audience. If I am in a position to have a large following online, I want it to be a following that's not invested in me per se. I want to have a following that's really invested in making positive change for the world. For making this world a better and a more loving and a more accepting place for everyone. So the projects that I'm making for 2018 are going to be on probably a much larger scale, but a lot more meaningful than the content I've been making over the past couple years. Because these will be larger scaled, I feel like they'll be less often. I'd rather put 100% into a single project than make multiple half-assed projects. But with YouTube, there's also the pressure to be consistent, so I'm thinking of going back to what I first did when I started YouTube, which is giving advice. Maybe like once a week or once every other week, you guys can submit questions to me on Twitter or Tumblr. I'll make a 
hashtag maybe. <laughs> Although I have an overview for what my plan is going to be, I still am working on the little kinks and this is a journey that all of us are going to be figuring out together. Nugget, don't eat the camera. I'm always honest with you guys. I'm always true to what I say with you guys. But if someone were to ask me if my audience knows who I am, I would say no. You don't know Stephanie as a person. When I first started YouTube, I would always talk to you guys like I was talking to a friend versus a group of strangers. And you know when you're talking to someone you don't know, you filter yourself. I don't talk the way I normally do. I don't discuss the things I normally like to discuss because I have to have a filter on to be presentable or PG or family friendly. And trying all these different ways and avenues of communicating with my audience. I've been so stressed about all of these new things that have come into the picture since I started YouTube, like monetization, like growing a fan base, like being relevant. I just became obsessed with being this ideal person that everyone could love versus being myself. And you know, it's taken me a long time to accept and be okay with the fact that not everyone is going to love and appreciate me for who I am and that's okay. Like what's the expression? It's, you could be the juiciest peach, but there's always people that don't like peaches. I never wanted to be Elo Steph. I'm Stephanie Frosch. Most people call me Steph. You know, there's so many more layers to me than the few minutes per video that I give online. Cause to be honest, I don't know who this person on YouTube is. I feel like I've just tried so many different ways to be educational, to be relevant, to be likable while still being authentic. It's like, what is this? There's no way you can do all of that. It's either you're fake online or you're yourself online and you can still be yourself online with a filter. But to be honest, I feel like I've been more of the first one. I've been trying so hard to just be this perfect person. I feel like all of you know, even those of you who love me the most, know that I'm not this fun, bubbly ball of positive joy all the time that I try to be online. So to all of the people who have given me love and support and think I'm this inspirational person, I'm not. And to all of you who think I'm this boring and safe, know-it-all of a person, I'm not. I would say I'm a really outgoing introvert. I really love keeping to myself. I really love not being on social media. I really love reading books. Like it's nothing really exciting, but it's who I am. Creating YouTube videos has gone from being what I love the most to what I resent the most. I've literally been so anxious about making a YouTube video that one day when my manager called me saying, what's going on? You haven't uploaded in over a month. I just broke down crying because I'm scared. Because I was scared of being judged. Because I was scared of what people would think. I was scared of my stuff getting views and being liked and being whatever the hell everyone's goal of being a YouTuber is. I feel like when you add the pressure of having a career, making a living, being accepted, doing what you love, it takes the joy out of it. And I wanna love what I do again. And I hope you guys can accept that. If you like who I really am, great. If you like the content I'm going to make, great. And if you don't, I really don't care. I'm just gonna stop stressing about YouTube because to be honest, it's not beneficial for me mentally, emotionally, or financially, so what's the point? I'm gonna make content that I wanna make and that I wanna share, and I'm not going to do it to try and get other people's approval. I'm doing it because this is what I want to do. I'm sorry if I sound selfish or harsh or mean or cold. That's really not my intention at all because I do love you guys so much. Regardless if you're gonna stick around with me or not, Thank you for watching this video. And if you hated it, that's cool too. Leave a comment, or you don't have to. There's links in the bio. I have merch. If you want it, cool. If you don't, cool. If you want to communicate something to me, you can leave it in the comments. And of course, I'm going to read it. Whether you guys love who I am or not, I really do love all of you guys. And I do appreciate all of the incredible people who've come into my life on this journey. And I hope you have a good day. And this time, you're gonna see me soon.